Hello there you guys, welcome to another of my videos. Um, I do apologise that I haven't been on for the last couple of months because I have been very busy working and stuff. But, um, you know, I've got a few days off work so I'm going to be doing now a couple of videos for you. So anyway, as you all know, I am a Manchester United fan and on this video I'm going to be giving you a preview for the Bayern Munich versus Manchester United game. It is tomorrow night, an 8 o'clock kickoff. It is the Champions League and it's at the Alizan Arena. Now, Manchester United have had a very, very bad start to the season. You know, Man United have lost three of their first five league games. Lost the last time out to Brighton 3 1 at Old Trafford. Lost 3 1 to Arsenal at the Emirates. And lost 2 0 to Tottenham. We've won two games. You know, the first game against Wolves shouldn't have won that because Wolves dominated that game plus Wolves should have, had, should have had a penalty at the end so Wolves got robbed and the Nottingham Forest game Manchester United had to come back from two goals down to win 3-2 but reflecting on this poor start to the season Ten Hag is under pressure you know Ten Hag has come out and admitted this so you know by Christmas Ten Hag could be sacked but anyway, this will be a very difficult game against Bayern Munich. You know, Bayern Munich are second at the moment in the Bundesliga. They drew the last game to buy Leverkusen 2-2. Now, the last time Man United played Bayern Munich in the Champions League was back in 2014. Uh, Man United did lose 4-2. On aggregate over the two legs, it was 3-1 at the Alizan Arena to Bayern Munich and it was 1-1 at Old Trafford. So this is the first time in almost a decade we're playing Bayern Munich in the Champions League. This is the group stage. The Bayern Munich manager, of course, is Thomas Tuchel. He got appointed in as the Bayern Munich manager in March this year. So he's been the Bayern Munich manager for around six months or so now. Uh, Tuchel is a good manager. You know, he's got a good pedigree pedigree behind him, won quite a lot of trophies. Um, he is the former Chelsea manager. Don't forget, he did win the Champions League in that with them. He also managed PSG. He managed Borussia Dortmund and before he managed Mainz 5 uh, The players Bayern Munich have got, of course, they've got Harry Kane. They signed him from Tottenham for what? Around 102 million. They've got Serge Gnabry, who's another good player. Leon Goretzka. He's a former Schalke player. Thomas Muller, of course, is still at Bayern Munich. Uh, Joshua Kimmich. Leroy Sane. Uh, Bayern Munich, of course, got him from Man City. Kingsley Coleman, he's another player Bayern Munich have got. Uh, Matthias De Litt, of course, he's a centre back, he's a former Juventus and Ajax player. Daya Upiamicano, um, he's a former RB Leipzig and Red Bull Salzburg player. Don't forget, one point Man United were in for him. So they are quite a few of the players that Bayern Munich have got. Uh, let me put into the equation that they have lost players. Um, during the summer, of course, they lost Ryan Gravenberch to Liverpool. Uh, 
the lost Sadio Mane. Uh, of course, lost Marcel Savica. I think he's now at Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, last season he was out on loan at Man United. Um, a long time ago, uh, they lost Robert Lewandowski. So yeah, so they are quite a few of the players that Bayern Munich have lost. Uh, Man United have obviously got players missing. Um, Anthony is suspended for this game. Uh, Mason Mount is injured. He said he's out until early October. Uh, Man United, of course, signed Mason Mount from Chelsea. Uh, definitely Man United overpaid for him. Um, I think Sofyan Ambarat is he out with an injury. Man United, of course, have got him on loan from Florentina. Uh, Varane has got a knock. Uh, Cobble Maynard, that young player, um, he's injured at the moment. Uh, Luke Shaw, he's out with injury. Well, Luke Shaw's injury prone anyway. So, yeah, so there the players Man United are missing at the moment. Uh, by the way, the last time Manchester United won the Champions League was back in 2008. So that was around, what, 15 years ago or so now. Man United have won the Champions League three times. But the way things are going at the moment, you know, Man United won't even get Champions League qualification this season. We're out of the title race, and this is why Ten Hag is under so much pressure. And Ten Hag received a lot of criticism uh, during the 3 1 loss to Brian at Old Trafford. You know, he is partially to blame. Uh, obviously, some players are to blame as well. You know, and I was thinking, you know, Ten Hag was the right manager for Man United. But now, suddenly, my perception might start to change on him. You know, Ten Hag brought quite a few players in during the summer. You know, he brought Mason Mountain from Chelsea, who I think is a good player, but he's overrated. And I, that's what I said earlier, Man United did pay too much for him. You know, he brought Sofian Amberat on loan from Florentina. Um, Sergio Reguilon's another player he brought in on loan. He obviously came from Tottenham, you know, he's a good left back as Regilon. You know, he brought Andrea Onana in, the goalkeeper, who of course we got from Ajax. You know, brought Rasmus Hojland in, who of course we got for around 64 million. Man United got him from Atalanta. Um, I think he's had one or two injuries since he came to the club. So they are quite a few of the players he brought in during the summer. And, you know, Ten Hag has got rid of a lot of players since he became Man United manager. You know, we got rid of Fred. Got rid of Anthony Langer. He's now at Nottingham Forest. Got rid of Dean Henderson. Jack Butland's no longer here. He was only on loan at Man United last season. You know, Brandon Williams is what gone to Ipswich, switches it on loan. You know, De Gea, you know, oh, he left as a free agent. He's still a free agent now. Eric Bailly, of course, went to the seat, Chash. Uh, Mason Greenwood's now out on loan at Kitafi.
So they are players, you know, Ten Hag has got rid of, but there is still Deadwood in the squad. You know, Ten Hag, you know, he spent over 200 million as Man United manager. And last season, you know, I give Ten Hag a lot of credit because I thought he did really well. You know, last season he got a good Carabao Cup. That was his first goal since 2017. He got us what to the FA Cup semi finals, you know, lost to Man City. But now fans are starting to turn against him with how badly we started the season. Ten Hag has been the United manager for around 15 months. He got appointed in as the United manager in June 2022, which was last year. Obviously, Man United got Ten Hag from Ajax, and I also praised Ten Hag when he was at Ajax because he did very, very well. He developed the young players in that. We've got to get the owners out of the club. That is an issue at the moment. Uh, the Glazers hopefully will be gone by the end of the season. You know, the Glazers have owned Man United for what, around 17 years now? You know, they purchased the club for around, what, 500, 600 million back in 2005. But anyway, I will be um, doing another video. I'm going to give my prediction 11 for the Man United by Munich game. Drop your comments, like, below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless.